this video, we will show you how to perform configuring a runbook for failover of servers. To start creating a runbook, you'll need to go over under the disaster recovery area and hit runbooks, and then go to create runbook. In here, you will be adding steps as well as actions to that. You want to also make sure that you give the runbook a distinctive name here, so we will call it video runbook. You also want to make sure as you're working with this, if there's several steps that you need to do, want to save this over time. So a runbook consists of different steps that are executed consecutively. The steps consist of actions that start simultaneously. So actions can be consisted of things such as failover server, failback server, start server, stop the server, a manual operation, or execute another runbook. To define these operations, you'll need to choose the operation, the server, and the different parameters. If it was a manual operation, you'll just need to describe these verbally. Once the operation is completed, a user can click on the confirmation button and then allow the runbook to proceed. If you wanted to execute another runbook, you just need to choose the other runbook. So let's go through some of these operations here. So if I was going to do a failover server, you'll notice here, of the failover server, I can choose a specific server. There are different parameters here. Continue if already done, which is enabled by default. This particular parameter will help you define a runbook behavior when that specific required operation is already done. For example, a failover has already been performed or a server is already running. When this is enabled, the runbook will issue a warning and proceed. If it's disabled, the operation will fail and the runbook will fail. If you choose continue if failed, which is disabled by default, this parameter defines the runbook behavior when the required operation would fail. If this is enabled, the runbook issues a warning and proceeds. When it's disabled, the operation fails and the runbook fails. You can add completion checks to two different actions, the failover server and start server actions. The rest of them do not have those options. To ensure that your server is available and it provides the necessary services, if any of the checks fail, the action is considered failed. With the completion check, you can ping the IP address. So the software will ping the IP address of the cloud server until that server replies or the timeout expires, whichever comes first. The default, as you can see, is 10 minutes, but you could change this to what you would like. In addition, you can connect to the port. So we have HTTPS port 443 enabled by default. What this will do is it will try to reconnect to the cloud server by using the production IP address and the port that's specified until the connection is established or the timeout expires, whichever one would come first. This way you can check if the application is listening on the specified port is running. Also make sure that you're going to be saving these options as you go along. You can also change the description here. And if I add another step, you can also drag and drop to move them around as well. And then you would want to hit save, and then your runbook has been created.